hello! I'm going to show you today how to do a face down prone back shoulder back workout. So I have my oeuvre placed with a small piece towards me and I have my weights near me. So always the less weight the better. Uh, maximum no more than three or four pounds. And I just have the it positioned here so you can kind of just see my arms and what I'm doing. So I'm going to back up a little bit. So my legs are turned out and they're wider than my hips and I'm trying not to use my glutes because I want my abs to work. If you feel like it's too much in the ribs of the stomach, you might need to scoot forward or back, but if you also got too big of an oob, it's probably not gonna feel too good on you right now, because you do wanna be able to compress it to protect you. So shoulder presses, you're gonna come lift both arms up and off the floor, and then exhale, you're gonna come reach both arms up to straighten, and then inhale, bend both in. And then exhale, relax the glutes. Inhale in, and exhale out. Inhaling in, and two more. And you can always do more than what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to show you a variety of things to do. Then do one arm at a time. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. So I'm trying to keep my shoulders down, keep my shoulder blades pulling down and back. And exhale out, inhale in. And then start to switch and transition. The harder, the higher. If you need it a little easier, come down. And it's more important to get in the right muscles than over muscle it and get into those upper trap and neck muscles. All right, two more and then one more. So let's bring both arms back, straight back. Release the glutes, tighten the abs. Exhale, you're gonna come lift both arms up towards the ceiling, pulling the shoulder blades back and then inhale, lower both arms down. Exhale, come lift both arms up, keeping the wrist straight and inhale down. And then exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and do four more. Shoulders back, butt loose, two more, and then one more, and then you're gonna do one arm at a time. Exhale, and switch and transition, not with too much rocking, but then eventually if you wanna add a little bit of a rock side to side, that's okay. And let's do four more, and three, and then two, and then one, and put both down. So the next one, you can opt out with the weights or you can drop the weights down. So you can start off with the weights and then drop them when you're done, but you're gonna come lift both arms straight up. You're gonna slowly come with straight arms, round forward, and then slowly come back. And from here, you can do a little extension, trying not to use your butt. Come back forward, and then slowly come back. I just dropped the weights because they're too heavy for me. Inhale, come back forward, and then exhale and come back. And then two more. And then one more time here. And then coming back, and then what you can do is one arm up and one arm down. Try not to twist too much on the oove. Try to stay nice and centered with your core, and you're just trying to use your arms to go side to side. Try not to use your butt. Again, try to get into the abs a little deeper. And then you can start to switch and reach down at the bottom arm and switch and reach down to the other bottom arm. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then let's do four more. And then three, and two, and then one. Good, so you can come sit back and come into a shell stretch. And you can repeat that two or three times. Just arching my back here and slowly come on up when you're ready. 